Hi everybody and welcome to Cooking with Cricket, but it's another uh, story on my health update. Uh, the last one I did, I looked, it was five months ago when I was in the hospital over Halloween and things has just gotten a lot worse. Um, and I haven't really been cooking because I really can't eat anymore. But um, I just thought I'd let y'all know I've been kind of keeping quiet on things. My mama had a very major surgery. Uh, it's beginning of January, and she's not doing really good, but um, she's getting better, you know, but uh, she still needs prayer, but um, I've been in and out of the hospital since then uh, with infections and my colon and things just getting worse. I had a little surgery on my esophagus that failed because a week after they did that, I had another flare-up and um, was back in the hospital and stuff and doing this real bad. You have to be careful what you say on here. So, um, and another colonoscopy and within one year, I have such severe, what the doctor told me, such severe diverticulitis, diverticulitis, excuse me, such severe diverticulitis in my colon that it's gotta come out. Um, and it's just getting worse. Um, so, but I've been having problems with this, with the acid reflux getting so bad, and now I do this a lot, just all of a sudden it's gonna hit me. I wake up at night, can't breathe because I'm aspirating, and it's just bad. And so, um, he wanted, um, two weeks ago, I was back at the hospital, and the doctor told me, because I was there the other day, that uh, the CT scans were real bad. And now my small intestine, my whole gut's just all swollen and inflamed. And uh, the colon's got to go. But he had sent me for some tests on my esophagus and stomach. And I'm probably not saying that right. But I had to go have a tube put down my nose into my stomach. And uh, I was supposed to have a barium swallow. But I was trying to get out of that just to save money. So when I went back to him the other day, that test came back bad. And I wasn't expecting that. So I have a condition. And I cannot pronounce it. I know it starts with A. It's like A, C, S, something like that. But um, I might put the word in the description box below if I can remember to. So I've got to have the barium swallow because he said... That right now food is slowly getting through and there's another problem like my throat's just all burnt up from the um, stomach acid and I mean it getting this so the barium swallow will tell if I got to have now a major surgery on my esophagus and stomach or a minor he said if it shows something it'll be a minor he'll go in and do this that and the other but if it shows something else it'll be a major and so he's going to handle that, but he's sending me to another surgeon for my colon. And I go to him on the 20th of this month. This is June 2024. And um, I go see him. So far, like, not all of my colon has to come out. But they said I'll have to sign a paper when they get in there to see if all of it has to come out or not. And uh, I go Tuesday. Today is Friday. I go Tuesday for the barrel swallow. And uh, they'll let me know as soon as they get those results in. So I'm just told to eat what I can tolerate. And um, it is not much. <clears throat> Today, the last few days, I have not had a good day. Been having to take a lot of anti-nausea medicine. But today it's a pretty good day. So I try to eat and snack a lot in between, just very small you know, meals, because my weight's just up and down, up and down. So, to say I'm nervous about this, yes, I am. I'm very nervous, and I wasn't expecting, when they put the tube down my nose and my stomach did those tests, I was not expecting that to come back bad. I just was not. You could have knocked me over with a feather when he was sitting in there telling me all of that. So, there's just been a lot going on. Um, like I say, I really ain't been cooking. The other night, I did feel like cooking. I made some good old uh, 
chicken wings, barbecue, and hot. Got some homemade potato skins and celery and the ranch and everything. I ate two bites before. And I'm like, man. And then my husband was wanting some of my homemade chicken salad. I made some of that. Ate, got a sandwich down. And then was up all night long sick. Like, it is just... It's getting old. And, uh, and the infections, the antibiotics are not clearing those up anymore and uh, everything, so a lot's going on, so I'm supposed to be resting, don't really do nothing, you know, just rest and take it easy and go with my symptoms, you know, and there's some days where I'm just in the bed, right back and forth, but I'm in the bed, so I just wanted to let y'all know what's going on, because these hospital bills are just crazy. I try to find me a job when all of this is over with. I mean, the hospital bills is just insane. And like I said, I was trying to get out of the bear and swallow, but it's got to be done. So, so we are just back and forth to the doctors and hospitals with me. So things just in five months have not been getting better. It's just slowly been getting worse. So as soon as I see the surgeon, the other surgeon on my colon, I'll try to pop back on here and give an update and excuse how I look. My hair's just all, it's just falling out and everything. I know it's all, everything that I'm on and everything that's wrong with me and stuff. And so I'll try to get on here and do another update. And I'm sorry for not doing any cooking videos. This is, you know, I love to cook and all, but really I just been too sick. So anyway, I'll try to give another update then and everything and just, you know, could say a prayer and everything. And, um, you know, if you want to, I ain't really been posting a lot on social media about my health and stuff and everything, but I'll, I'll try to start and, like I say, and try to keep it on here. I'm having to do these on my phone and these videos are just a one-shot video because I don't know how to edit it edit it and all and these teeth I, I still can't get used to them and where my nutrition's not good and no calcium and stuff it, they're, they're still just falling out so hopefully when all this gets said and done and I get better and I'm gonna get better you know hopefully I can go get them fixed and get me some falsies instead of wearing these veneers that's just drives me crazy so, anyway, like that song by Jelly Row, I am not okay, but it's all going to be all right. So, um, anyway, I do miss y'all. I miss being on here and everything, but I'll find out more when I go Tuesday to have this other test done. And when I go see the other surgeon, I think he said he was going to handle my stomach esophagus and the other one's going to handle my colon. So, that's... We know the colon's a major surgery, and we're just waiting to find out if this one's going to be a major or a minor. I wish they could fix it all at the same time, but I don't know. But anyway, I'm just sitting outside. It's beautiful. Summer and spring's my favorite time of the year. So since we really can't do nothing, I'm just sitting outside. It's, we still have our little garden up. Uh, Ricky planted it. We got some tomatoes and, of course, the uh, purple whole peas and the jalapenos and this year we planted some potatoes in our containers and we have some pinto beans green beans and okra growing so that's exciting maybe i can get to where i can eat it <laughs> but anyway i didn't miss y'all love all of y'all and i'm gonna shut up so this video ain't long and I'll try to get some more updates going. Or if I can't, maybe my son can jump up on here and uh, get some updates. But anyway, bye, y'all.